We have two new moves we have to break down on this episode of Heat Digest. The first one is going to be an unfortunate goodbye to the sharpshooter Cole Swider as he's on his way elsewhere, as well as breaking down the brand new contract given to our rookie out of the University of Florida, Zion Pullen, as it's a bit more complicated than it may appear. We're going to break down all of that right now on this episode of Heat Digest, so let's get to it and start with the roster moves for this Miami Heat. And what we're going to start with first is the departure of of Cole Swider as it was reported from Shams Sharani just a few days ago saying free agent guard Cole Swider has agreed to a one-year non-guaranteed deal with the Indiana Pacers sources tell at the Athletic at Stadium. Swider had an impressive summer league for the Heat averaging 13 and a half points and 49.1% three-point shooting on nearly seven three-point attempts per game. I don't have to tell you how impressive that is. He has been a marksman for some time with this Miami Heat organization. Obviously, he hasn't got a lot of playing time on the actual NBA stage with this Miami Heat organization, but again, playing in the G League, playing in the NBA Summer League for this Miami Heat organization, he has done nothing but showcase his talent. He's a great talent at that, and again, I wish him nothing but the best over in Indy playing for the Pacers. Unfortunately, it is an Eastern Conference rival. Hopefully, he does not have a crazy revenge game like we saw last year in Kyle Lowry. So, but again, wish you nothing but the, but the best, Cole Swider. It's 2024, and if you're not concerned about your online privacy and security, I'm here to tell you, you absolutely need to be, and I have the best way for you to handle it. NordVPN, by far and away, the best VPN service around, as well as the most effective. It Not only is it effective, but it's easy to use. Just a few clicks of a button, and you'll be fully set up and fully anonymous online whenever you turn on the NordVPN system. Now, it has over 6,000 servers worldwide, allowing you to connect anywhere, whether it be in the States or over in another country. And again, you could just do that from your own home. Just the ability to do that is otherworldly, as well as being able to connect to public Wi-Fi without having the worry of someone else on that Wi-Fi stealing all of your information. Also, getting around geo restrictions. Like I mentioned, you can connect anywhere in the world with those 6,000 servers when that NordVPN is on, allowing you to get around those geo restrictions. And finally, being able to connect to your favorite streaming services and watching with no buffer, no lag, and make Making it just more an enjoyable experience watching your favorite movies and TV shows. So again, NordVPN. If you use this link, nordvpn.com slash heat, you get exclusive content plus four months, as well as the first 30 days being money on a money back guarantee. So nordvpn.com slash heat. Go use it. It's the best VPN service around. Keep shooting the basketball over in Indy. But now we get to the more complicated part of this video. And it's a pretty good thing in the sense that we went out and signed Zion Poland. The point guard out of the University of Florida. Now, you guys do remember that during draft night, obviously, he was not selected, but again, leave it to Miami to go out and get a great young player with a lot of upside after the draft ends, and he again, he went undrafted. We signed him to a two-way contract. He played in the NBA Summer League for this Miami Heat team. Again, he didn't play very, very well. He definitely didn't play better than players like Pella Larson or even Josh Christopher, and because of that, he was waived, and when he was waived on July 25th, for Josh Christopher. So we waived Zion Pullen, the guard that we're referring to here, for, to sign Josh Christopher. As we all know, he's now on a two-way contract with this Miami Heat team, and for good reason. Obviously, he was drafted by the Houston Rockets three years ago, two years ago. He ended up playing a little bit of NBA basketball before being sent down to the G League, where obviously he wanted to play for the Miami Heat. He reached out to Udonis Haslam, said, is there any way you can put me in contact with these guys? I would love to play for you guys. I think you guys will develop me into a great young player. And he came into the NBA Summer League playing for the Miami Heat, and he simply showed out. There's no real other way to say it. And the Miami Heat made a great decision in going out and signing him to that two-way contract. But because of that, we had to waive Zion. But again, we went back and we offered him this contract, and this is why it's a bit different. So we're going to cite this article from Heat Nation and Peter Dewey. Shout out to those guys for writing this article. And again, Heat Nation for producing it. The full implications of the Miami Heat signing Zion Poland to a contract. So let's break it down. And it starts with this. The Miami Heat signed guard Zion Poland to an Exhibit 10 contract on Monday, paving the way for the young guard to potentially end up with Miami's G League affi affiliate. So again, potentially. This does not mean he's on a two-way contract. It's a done deal. He's on the team. It, it, 
there is there's going to be a lot of competition if you'd like to label it as that in order for him to get onto this team so shout out to ira winderman who we cite so many times on this channel as he's a beat writer for the miami heat and he's damn good at it he tweeted this just yesterday saying the heat have brought undrafted florida guard zion pulling back on an exhibit 10 camp tryout contract it means he cannot be signed away by another team and likely means some guaranteed money and then a direct assignment to the Heat's G League affiliate. So, does it again, he's getting some money again, it's guaranteed which will be it's great for Zion Pull and he's getting paid no way around it, but again, it's still a tryout contract. He's going to camp to compete and if he competes at a high level, showcases his talent to a high enough degree, he can beat someone out for a spot on the G League affiliate team or possibly even make the NBA team for the Miami Heat if a roster spot opens. But again, that would mean he would have to play out players like Josh Christopher, Alondis Williams, and then obviously players like Pella Larson who are already on the Miami Heat main team, if you will. Pull, uh, Dewey goes on to say, Pullen entered Summer League on a two-way deal with the Heat, but Miami ended up waiving him in order to sign former first round pick Josh Christopher to a two-way deal. This we already broke down as we know, Josh Christopher, again, was the better player out of these two, at least, if we're going to limit to just comparing the two side by side. Christopher, by far and away, was the better player, obviously, because he won the Summer League Finals MVP. Again, he played extremely, extremely well, not only in that closeout game, but throughout those games in order to get to the actual championship game in the Summer League. So, we go on and wrap it up with this. Now, Poland will get another chance to impress the Heat coaching staff and front office, and he could eventually earn a deal with the franchise in a future season or in 2024-2025 season if the Heat open up a roster spot for him. Again, this is very far-fetched in the sense that, let's be honest, Zion Poland, unless he comes out in camp and he is competing against the ones at a high level and giving them problems to an a ridiculous degree i guess we could say he's probably not going to have a roster spot opened up for him other players like josh christopher obviously alondis williams has been with this g league affiliate team and in the miami Heat organization for some time now definitely longer than poland has up to this point and obviously he's been playing very very well he's been a walking highlight through the nba summer league and he's been a damn good play <coughs> excuse me damn good player through the G League for this Miami team for that last few years now. So again, it's going to be very interesting. I can't wait. I love, I'll say this, I love that it's set up like this. I love that they're bringing him in and telling him, hey, there's a chance you can make this team. We're going to pay you. You're getting guaranteed money. This is a tryout. You have to come to camp. You have to compete. You're playing against these other guys that are on the G League, that are on the second string, first string, third string guys. This is the Miami Heat organization that are trying to play basketball for this Miami Heat organization are all here, and they're here for the same same reason prove their worth prove their value and try to earn a roster spot earn a promotion in the sense if you're on the g league try to get onto that third fourth string of the bench and try to then earn some minutes the hard way again it's the miami heat it's a great organization with a great culture and if you come out there especially during camp as a young guy fighting for a spot prove that you have a mentality and an attitude to you i could definitely see someone like zion pullen or even alondis williams or anyone else for that matter and josh christopher or whoever else it may be really earning a spot on this roster going into this up and coming season for the miami heat but again let me know down below are you guys upset swider is now a, he was a free agent is now an indiana pacer i hate the fact that he went to an in-conference rival i don't enjoy that I feel like they always come back to burn us and as well as what do you think about the polling idea do you like the idea that he's on this type of contract and he's like enticed to really compete against these other guys and really try to show his actual value as well as really enticing everyone else around him that there could be a roster spot possibly opening up and that you could possibly take it if you really highlight your game but again that'll be it for this episode of heat digest thank you guys for watching i'll see you on the next one